This video is brought to you by the Disc Golf Nerd Patreon support team. Go to patreon.com slash discgolfnerd. What's up everybody, it's time for a little bit of old fashioned plastic show and tell here for Fresh Plastic Friday. I don't have a full review ready for you guys this week so I figured it'd be fun to go through some of the new plastic that I've taken in, some new dies, some new dies that I've done, some backups, some new discs that are in my bag, and just yeah, show off some plastic, geek out on it a little bit with you guys and hang out, and uh, yeah, just show you guys what I'm working with. Thank you so much for all the continued support of the channel. I appreciate all my viewers and my subscribers very much. If you dig the channel, hit that subscribe button. You can stay tuned for future uploads and you won't miss out on any of the upcoming reviews and other content that I have coming up. Let's get into it. Let's take a look. So we're going to go down. Uh, we're going to start fastest and move our way down. And if you guys have been uh, following me closely on Instagram and stuff, you probably noticed I've been really, really enjoying the Havoc. Havoc has been a disc I'm throwing a lot. I showed you guys that Air one that I got here on the channel already, but I do have some other ones I'm not sure if you guys have seen. I got these couple DGN dies here. This is the first one I got. I got this one. I dotted up. I started testing it. It flies amazing. It's one of my favorite flyers right now. So I bought this one as a backup and I dyed this one as well. Pretty good looking uh, pair of drivers there. The Havoc has been really solid. I feel like I can throw them as hard as I want to and they won't really get squirrely on me at all. And they work pretty good with my um, like slight hyzer release. They pop up just a little bit and just ride real straight and they hook up for me too. So I've been digging the Havoc quite a bit and I can throw them on flexes as well. Um, definitely a solid disc. So I've been looking around on eBay because I don't use Facebook for the buy and sell groups and I found some of these nice old gold line Havocs um, on eBay. So I got this one here first. It had a bunch of ink on the front so I put a black stripe there and I did like an orange splatter dye on this one. Came out alright for a disc that was already very well worn. Um, it's not like super beat and it's actually quite stable still but it has some pop top to it. I like this one. I think this is one I'm going to end up bagging for uh, for a while for sure. It's definitely got a, a really nice feel. It's funny underneath here where the ink was, it was actually um, Jordan Castro's ink that was covered up with Sharpie. He must have owned this disc at some point. I was able to figure that out um, kind of by the stamp or uh, the signature, but mostly by the PDGA number, so that's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, a little bit of pop top, Gold Line Havoc, older run, and then I got this one popped up on eBay separately a couple days later, and I was able to snag this one as well. I've just thrown them a few times each so far, but I'm digging them. They're not too far off from the Optos, which is great, because I kind of wanted to have um, a little bit, you know, broken in, just a basic kind of stock one that I could throw in the bag in case I lose my... Uh, you know good opto or something or i can throw these kind of over water or whatever and i'm not going to worry about them because I, I actually like the brand new run optos better we'll see how many of those get produced next year maybe i could stock up but either way pretty stoked on that i might i might dye this one as well let me know if you think i should next we have grogu i'm loving it this is one of my favorite discs i've ever had i just love i love the way this thing came out i did not dye this i will put the instagram handle of the artist that did this um her page is called little little miss prince and uh man she <laughs> crushed it i had shared a picture of a disc that she had done previously with this same kind of uh stencil design on it and uh, we ended up kind of chatting about it and she was kind enough to do this one for me so i really really love it i sent her this culverin i wiped the stamp i sent it to her and then this beautiful disc showed up in the mail and I really appreciate it. So it went straight in the bag and I'm, I'm really liking this disc too for uh, for forehands. My forehand is terrible but I've been really working on it and um, one of the ways I've been doing that is I got this um, also super sweet dyed flat top or well, they're all flat top but it's a, uh, just a straight up lucid justice and this one came from another dyer on uh, instagram that i've been chatting with a little bit his page is called the long dies this thing is sick and what i've been doing is basically even if the upshot doesn't really call for a forehand i'll throw my normal upshot and then i'll throw a forehand upshot with this disc and just try to make it work from wherever it might be and just kind of working on it to make sure i'm getting that muscle memory and then if it's a really obviously should be a forehand uh, approach i'll just use this straight away and then maybe i'll throw my uh, magnet or my caltrop or something to kind of practice both 
both sides of it. But I'm trying to balance myself out a little bit with being able to approach the basket forehand, and this disc has been working out really, really well. Um, Justice is just perfect for my kind of sloppy forehand. It forgives a lot of the issues, you know, a little bit of wobble. It's still going to be overstable and, and mostly get there, but I've been having some pretty solid results from, from working on it um, this way, and I'm, I'm definitely going to keep doing it throughout this year and just every round, if it's not like a, you know, competitive round, tournament round, of course, if it's any kind of casual round, I'll throw my approach um, and then make sure I'm throwing a forehand as well most of the time unless there's, you know, backups or whatever. I don't want people waiting for me. Fuses. I got a bunch, uh, not a bunch, but I got a few more fuses here. This one is just a backup for the new run stock Opto one that's in my bag. I like that one, so I got this one too. You know, the modern stuff is, is coming out of the Latitude factory. It's so nice. They're just flying great. Super uh, quality plastic, and I'm really, really digging the, the recent stuff. So got that guy just to um, have just in case I need a backup. And then I also scored these on dynamicdisc.com. These were misprints. I'm not exactly sure why, but these are the retro burst fuses that I think they run to put in the starter packs. And I really like these. I'm really stoked on it. I got the pair for like under 15 bucks for both. So I put this one in my bag and I've been throwing it quite a lot because it's kind of nice to throw it over some of my optos that I'm a little more fond of because I don't have to worry about losing it. Um, similar to that other kind of beat up gold line habit that I bought same kind of thinking you know I, I like to have um, backups of discs in my bag and like kind of not necessarily like sacrificial discs I'm not trying to lose them but I would be um, you know less sad to lose one of these since I paid so little for them and they're just you know basic retro fuses than I would for one of my dyed uh, lucids or whatever it might be lucid opto who can keep it all straight if I can't do it no one can here we go again <laughs> same plastic two different companies two different names we got zero medium keystones and we got exo soft links but this is the same exact plastic from the same factory um and it feels exactly the same so i have a backup uh, link here i actually worked a deal with my buddy joel he is a uh, supporter of the channel he's one of my patreon supporters as well shout out to him he hooked me up with this sweet brand new um Exosoft link just as a backup for the stock and then I got a pair of these zero medium keystones because I'm sticking with the keystone I committed to it and I picked these up because of that and uh, I'm really digging it. It's a solid disc. I'm thinking about uh, starting to use that orange one for more approach shots and maybe some short-range tee shots and then putting this pair of uh, white ones in the bag for putting Something about just that kind of classic old-school pair of pure blank white putters. I actually almost kind of want to wipe these stamps and uh, just throw them in the bag for that old school kind of vibe. Really digging the Keystone as you can see here. They have that like flat underside which I really like and just feels really nice in my grip and they float for days like straight into the basket. I've been hitting some nice long putts and they're really easy to just pop them in there from short range as well. So that's just a, a quick look at some of the new plastic that I am working with. Please let me know in the comments down below. Have you gotten any new discs? Have you added anything new to the bag? Is there something that you're particularly excited for a restock of um, here in 2021? I know there's a bunch of stuff I have my eye out for, specifically Havocs. If you guys have any havoc send me a dm on instagram maybe we can uh, work out a trade if you're looking to get rid of it but yeah let me know do you have uh got any new plastic anything you're looking forward to trying this year let me know in the comments like the video if you enjoy it and i will talk to you very soon cheers